you're not flying at night by accident. That midnight departure, the silent cabin, the eerie stillness at 35,000 feet, it's not just to help you sleep. In fact, night flights aren't about you at all. They're a byproduct of billion dollar strategies, circadian tricks, jet stream whispers, and invisible wars over airport slots. And once you understand how the system works, you'll never look at that 11.40 p.m. boarding pass the same way again. So why are most long haul flights scheduled at night? Is it just about saving on hotel costs or something much more calculated? Why do airlines deliberately push passengers into the sky at the exact hour your body wants to shut down? And how does flying through the dark end up saving millions in fuel, time, and human energy? This is the overlooked story of global air travel, one built on human biology, jet engines, and a logistical ballet that unfolds while most of the world sleeps. Let's dive in. <laughs> Let's start with something that doesn't usually come up when you think about aviation, your body clock. Airlines have designed long haul night flights around your natural sleep-wake cycle, known as your circadian rhythm. Most people begin to feel tired between 10 p.m. and 1 a.m., so when you step onto that plane late at night and find yourself getting drowsy before takeoff, it's not random, it's scheduled, and there's a reason for that. When more passengers sleep during a flight, the experience becomes easier to manage. There are fewer call button requests, less movement in the cabin, and lower stress levels for the crew. Night flights run more smoothly when people are resting. Sleeping on board also helps reduce the effects of jet lag. By aligning flight times with your natural sleep cycle, airlines make it easier for passengers to adjust to a new time zone. You fall asleep after takeoff and wake up closer to morning at your destination. The cues your body receives, darkness, quiet, and light, make it easier to reset. This helps people traveling from west to east in particular. Instead of pushing through an endless day, a night flight allows the body to rest and restart on the local time. In fact, sleep acts like a shortcut through the travel experience. Instead of counting every hour of the journey, your body simply powers down and wakes up somewhere new. This psychological benefit adds to the overall sense of efficiency. But here's the catch. It only works if the airline supports the rhythm. That means dimming the lights, timing meals based on destination time zones, and limiting announcements during rest periods. Some airlines are better at this than others. The more more thoughtfully a flight is scheduled and managed, the easier it is for passengers to rest and transition smoothly across time zones. When that system is followed well, you step off the plane feeling better rested and more alert, not just earlier on the clock, but mentally sharper too. But if passengers are sleeping, how does that benefit the airline financially? The answer isn't in the cabin, it's in how the plane itself is used. Aircraft are expensive to own and operate. Every hour they spend parked is money lost. That's why airlines build schedules that keep planes moving as much as possible. A typical wide-body aircraft might fly from London to New York during the day. If it just sits there overnight, it loses value. But if it can fly back to London that same night, it becomes far more efficient. Night flights allow the airline to run more trips with the same aircraft in a 24-hour period. More flights mean more passengers. More passengers mean better use of the aircraft and higher returns. That's why night flights are a key part of airline strategy. It also helps with connections. Long haul flights that land in the early morning line up perfectly with regional departures later in the day. If you've ever arrived at a hub airport at 6 a.m. and boarded a connection at 8 a.m., that timing was intentional. Airlines build these networks to keep traffic flowing. Business travelers especially benefit from this setup. They can fly overnight, land in the morning, and head straight to a meeting. No wasted hotel night, no lost day. That kind of time saving is valuable not just for passengers, but for the airline selling the ticket. There's another big factor, airport slots. At busy airports like JFK, Heathrow, or Frankfurt, takeoff and landing slots are limited during peak daytime hours. Getting a slot is competitive and expensive. Nighttime slots are less crowded and often cheaper. That means fewer delays, quicker taxi times, and smoother operations overall. Still, not all airports allow full nighttime operations. Some have curfews or noise restrictions. In those cases, airlines do everything they can to hold on to whatever night slots they can get, even if it means flying routes with lower profit margins. That's because once you lose a slot, it can be hard to get it back. Some airlines even operate flights during low demand hours just to maintain access to valuable time slots in congested hubs. 
It's not always about immediate profit. Sometimes it's about long-term positioning. And then there's the jet stream. High above the Earth, jet streams are fast-moving air currents that flow from west to east. Night flights often match up better with their patterns, especially on transatlantic routes. These tailwinds can shorten flight times and save fuel, one of the biggest costs in aviation. Every hour saved and every gallon of fuel spared adds up, especially when you're running hundreds of flights per day. For airlines working on tight margins, every small gain matters, and night flights offer a set of consistent, predictable advantages that daytime operations can't always match. But here's the challenge. All these advantages only work if the entire operation can keep up, and that means people need to stay alert and ready throughout the night. So how do airlines manage the risks and complexity of operating through the night? Long-haul night flights depend on people working while most of the world is sleeping. Start with the crew. Regulations limit how long pilots and flight attendants can work before they must rest. On ultra-long flights, there are often multiple crews on board who rotate between active duty and mandatory rest periods. Modern aircraft even include rest areas for crew, small quiet spaces where they can sleep during cruise segments. To make this all work, airlines use advanced scheduling systems that manage time zones, shift limits, and mandatory breaks. Breaks. It's a complex system, and if it fails, flights can be delayed or even canceled. Scheduling is often done weeks in advance, taking into account legal restrictions, staff availability, and even previous fatigue reports. Airlines can't just fill a spot last minute, everything has to be planned and timed with care. Then there's maintenance. Overnight hours are critical for inspecting aircraft, replacing parts, and preparing planes for the next day's flights. The window is short and the pressure is high, but there are problems. The the aviation industry faces a shortage of trained maintenance personnel. Parts can be delayed, ground crews might be understaffed, and if anything goes wrong overnight, it can throw off schedules for the rest of the day. Airlines often rely on predictive maintenance systems to try to catch issues before they cause delays. These systems analyze data from flights and maintenance records to schedule repairs proactively, but even the best tech can't prevent every issue. Airports are also working through the night, but at reduced capacity, fewer staff, limited access to services and lower lighting conditions all make the job harder. From fueling and baggage handling to catering and customs clearance, every step has to function in sync, and the risks go up. Fatigue, poor visibility, and fewer personnel increase the chance of accidents or delays. In many cases, night shifts attract fewer workers, and that can impact the quality and speed of service. Airlines and airports often have to incentivize night work just to keep operations smooth. Still, night flights continue because the benefits outweigh the drop drawbacks. For passengers, it means avoiding peak hour crowds, sleeping through the flight, and arriving early enough to make the most of the day. For airlines, it means smoother operations, better use of planes, and lower costs. Now that you know what goes into a night flight, would you still choose to fly one? Would you pick a red eye knowing how much planning it takes behind the scenes? Let us know in the comments. And if you found this breakdown interesting, don't forget to subscribe. There's more to explore in the world of aviation than you might think.